we're going to be looking at working with directories and subdirectories working with directory and subdirectory simply means working with a container where you can place your files just like a container but before we talk about that let's know what we mean by a directory it's a listing of all files and directories in a disk when you use a command we call dir to do that but all files in a disk can be compiled in different ways so and in the course of this topic we're going to be looking at creating directories and subdirectories we're going to create files inside the subdirectory we're going to manage stored information we're going to know how to use what we call the white card to view and delete files listing files using white card and also using white card to delete file also now let's go ahead and we're going to begin by creating a directory now if you want to create a directory there is a command we call the md which is called make directory we can also make call it mkdir but this mkdir is not it doesn't work in all version of windows so but in the course of this um lesson we're going to be using the md now to do that what we'll do is we'll type our md space our directory name maybe you want to call a directory diagram press our enter we've just automatically created a directory <coughs> excuse me called diagram now you can also create a subdirectory but before you will create a subdirectory you must first of all display the directory and to display the directory you simply type cd space the directory name press enter the return key and now if we want to create a subdirectory creating a subdirectory means creating a directory inside another directory <coughs> and to do that what we just simply do is um we now come here we type md space maybe let's say we want to create a dire and press enter so we can still use the same way to enter diag you see we now have two directories the same way you can be creating until you create any number of directories and subdirectories you want inside a particular directory now you can also use cd here stands for change directory and changing directory means if you want to make it one step backward you add two dots it goes one step backward but by adventure you want to just go back to the root directory without you going step by step you press cd forward slash enter then it takes you directly to the main directory now if you want to view the directories want to display the content of a directory just press dir it stands for directory it will display all the directories and all the files inside a particular directory or drive now we can create files inside a sub directory already we know we have let's change back to the directory called diagram we also change back to change ahead to the one we call diag then to create a file inside it is just the same normal way copy con space the file name let's just say file dot txt we press enter we are 
here to make sure you understand this topic very well and if in case you are you are confused don't hesitate to ask a question now press ctrl z and save the file has been created so if I adventure we go to the first system and press type space file dot txt you will get an error message the system doesn't get it then if we still change back to the directory we call diagram and say type space file dot txt to give us an error message it is until we come back and say cd space diag and now say type space file dot txt it will now display the content of the file so this is how you actually work create a directory subdirectory and also creating a file inside a sub directory also note that you can remove any directory or sub directory you don't want so let's say i want to remove the directory called diag so i'll first of all go back to let's go one step back then I will now say RD space diag enter so they say the directory is not empty so for us to delete a directory we must make sure we delete the content of a directory but if per adventure we don't want to observe that we can easily use a command called the del tree command so what we want to do now is we just simply say del tree and um, enter it's not recognized as an internal or external this don't get it twisted this simply means that the command is not functional in this version of windows doesn't mean it won't be functional in your own version of windows so now without wasting time for you to be able to delete a directory you must first of all delete the file inside the directory so now let's change to directory we want to delete we want to delete that diag so what we'll do is um we just first of all press our Dell space file.txt. It has been deleted, so now we can now go one step backward and say RD space diag enter. If we now search for diag here now, you see that there's nothing like diag in this directory because we have deleted the diag now another thing another command that you can use to work is what we call the tree command which is used to view the structure of the directories in a particular disk let's just go to the default this root directory of this side we can easily press tree and enter it will show us all the folders all the files all everything inside our directory this it will keep showing us the folders the sub the directories the sub directories the files everything inside it will display in this form so this is the function of the tree command three t R E E is a command we call the three command. 
so you can still use them to walk over in doors now let's look at how we can manage the information that are stored in directories using what we call switches but before we go ahead to do that what do we mean by switches switches helps us to view our files in other in an orderly way either paragraph by paragraph page by page wild way or otherwise so we have different um, work that we can do with the switches so but first and foremost let's clear our screen so to work with switches we can decide and say dir normally we know dir displays the files and folders the files and directories in a drive now but if by adventure we want to display it and post on various regular basis let me just change this to videos then i'll say dir space p to display everything that p now stands for pause it's pausing at any given place that shows that this is the first page we press any key on the keyboard and it will show us the last page now again we can use another command called the dir slash wild as the w we press and enter it shows it in a wide way with the detailed information about each file and folder so you can also as well go and press dir forward w and p wide and page by page you can also as well go there press dir slash o n slash p so we these are various ways we can work through in doors to manage the content of what has been saved inside the doors environment and that's how you can do it but there are other commands which you can go ahead to search that relates that are related to that maybe let's say slash this this just to get help on different commands of this sort once you need a help you need more information about a particular command you type the command let's say del for instance you put your slash and question mark to show you what it is used for so that is why you need to understand all these things now so if you also say dir slash question mark it shows you all the possible slashes that you can apply to get information needed about the directory command so now we're going to look at the wild card what is a wild card they are simply criteria for search or accomplishing a particular task the wild card indoors is represented by two symbols there are two symbols that you can use to represent the the white card which is um thus and the question mark the other two so and for instance there are different wild cards we have let's say for instance i will have to go to c column let me just change cd dot dot okay forward slash cls let's just say let's change to user um change to the file name is to change to downloads now we want to display all 
files that has the extension name dot exe so what i'll do is dir space asterisk dot exe press our enter it shows us all the files that has exe as the extension name irrespective of the file name whether the file name starts with a or it starts with z it doesn't matter all that matters is the extension name that's what this word card does so in case you have um names that start with f you can say dir space f dot asterisk let's see if i have anyone with that i don't think i have any name with f so let's see if i have any other name maybe with l dot asterisk i don't think i do also but i think i should have a name that is s let's see could not find any file with that symbol that that starts with it or rather let's do it this way uh, okay all right we have all the files that has the file name as starts with s so you can still use commands we have different of it we have dir um space the c equal c question mark question mark question mark question mark i don't have any file that has with that but let's see again dir space c for instance one two three uh no, none of the file of that sort was seen now the same way you can use this command this wild card to delete files if you want to delete all the files in a drive so before i do that let me change back to the drive where i can delete things without regretting i did uh scd or slash cls now <coughs> i'll say delete no i'm not going directly I'm going to check diagram for instance let's change to diagram so I can use Dell we say space the D column then diagram we do it that way then asterisk dot asterisk it will delete everything you could not find this okay the error is there already and we should know where the error is coming from so we are going to delete a file all the files in mainly this goes to all the files in the drive but i don't want to execute it in my drive because it will wipe everything inside my drive so in case you're doing it don't execute this very command on directly on your c drive or your hard disk because it's going to wipe everything inside it it's just like formatting the whole drive so before you do that you can do it to a removable drive a removable disk and be successful with it so just take your time and go through the lessons again and if you have any question don't forget to ask